Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Rafi Arnjio from Group Four. Okay, I will explain about textual perspective. Textual perspective is the way we are we are more focused in the text to find out to find out the author's goals and aspects such as the main character settings or uh, and conflicts. In thinking about stories from a textual perspective, students are primarily considering stories, structured or aesthetic form. For example, in responding to Iran, good night, students may think about the relationship among the different parts of the story, Felix getting to know Iran. Uh, and however, the concert with form must derive from readers initial responses to the story as a whole if students are asked to in the identify identify or classify various aspect of the story aspect of the story main character setting and conflicts without initially expressing their open ended responses they will have difficulty defining the relationships between those responses and a tellers or writers use of curtain techniques so after reading a story students often need to short or even clarifying some questions they may have about the story what happened where did the story occur who were some of the characters and or why did the character do curtain things at this stage, uh, students might simply list their question in their, their journals and then share some in an initial large group discussion or students could, could do a free write retelling of the story, allowing their questions to emerge in the course of trying to summarize what happened. Then. I will suggest one way to use such narratives in a discussion of the story formal structure. There is by story sa- there is by story sharing activities. By sharing story by sharing everyday anecdotes in the class, students might begin to define in the inductively some of the characteristic command to the stories. If you don't know and if you don't know what is anecdotes, anecdote is a story and fun or interesting story that might be interesting in real life. Anecdote can be a short a setting and provoking a joke. Anecdotes are always present based on real events. Then if you have searched several stories and have been heard by students, they could begin to describe the characteristic they share and by examining their own responses to the stories, they could begin to distinguish between those that are effective and those that are less so. All of this should have them realize how much they already know about how narrative techniques how narrative techniques function to evoke meaning okay i think that's all from me thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh